Hi students, today I'm going to show you how to use the screen recorder inside of Canvas Studio. So first you have to be logged in to Canvas. Then you can click on Studio here in the left side. If you have any videos that you've made, they're going to appear here inside of your studio. Inside of your studio, you can upload any videos, you can screen record, you can link to any YouTube. So we're going to do screen recording. So we hit record, screen capture. The very first time we do it, it's going to want to download a program. So it's going to look like nothing's happening, but you're going to wait and it's going to prompt you to download and install a screen recording software. So you'll press download. It'll download here in the left side of Google Chrome. Make sure you're using Google Chrome when doing screen recording. When it's finished, you'll install. You won't need a password from myself or a teacher to install it. You'll be able to install it all by yourself. Okay. When you're done, it's going to go back to studio again. It's not going to open up the screen recorder. And so here's the trick. We have to hit record screen capture. It's going to ask us, do we want to open screen recorder? We're going to say yes. And it'll look like nothing's happening. So you want to make sure your Google Chrome is not maximized or in full screen. And then you're going to see it pop up here, the windows down below. You might get prompted again to download, but you can ignore that. And it's going to launch screen recorder. It can take a little while, so be patient. And you'll know you have it because you have these checkered lines all around your screen. So on these checkered lines, you can move to only get the part of the screen you really want. You can add in your own microphone. So if you have Bluetooth AirPods or you have plugged in microphones, you can select that or you can just use the computer one. You can choose to record just your webcam or you can choose to record both you and your webcam. The first time you launch the webcam, it's going to ask you to pick your webcam. Okay. And then you can choose both and it'll give you the picture in picture look of your webcam down here and you can move your webcam up, up at the top or at the bottom or wherever you want your webcam to be. And then when you're ready, you just hit the record button. It'll count you down and then go tell the process, go to your favorite website. So my favorite YouTuber, my favorite YouTuber, wow, that took a really long time for these little computers to load YouTube is MKBHD. So maybe I want to show Marquise's latest video about why don't people buy Sony smartphones. And so when I'm done doing that video, I can be all done and I hit the pause button and then I can hit edit or I can hit done. I can hit edit if there is anything I want to go back and cut or blur out or add some text on top of. But if I'm all done, I can hit done. If I want to start over, I could hit the trash can. And then it's going to launch this video. And so I can see my whole video right here. If I wanted to cut off something at the very end, or cut off something at the very beginning. And then I give it a sample and I could say favorite YouTube influencer. And then I hit upload. When I upload, it's going to upload this video into my Canvas Studio. 
again, this might take a little bit of time with these little 11 inch laptops. And once it's all finished, you'll hit continue. And then inside of your Canvas Studio, you can hit refresh. And then you will see your YouTube video. Canvas will process that video and actually give you the ability to make a quiz out of your own video, or you can have captions for your video, or you can also share your video. So when you're all done, you can click on it and you can hit view my video. You can generate captions, you can download your video. You can also hit the share button. The share button allows you to create a link. So you could turn in your video by copying that link. You can also send it to your teacher. So I'm logged in as my daughter. Let's say I wanted to send it to me. You could send that to your teacher and you could give them the rights to view or the rights to edit that video. You'll find all your videos always in your Canvas Studio. When you're completing an assignment, you'll be able to access all of your studio videos as submissions. And that's it. Thanks for watching.